Hello and welcome to NC Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will be using the whole machining operation to spot, drill, and tap these smaller holes arranged in a bolt hole circle. And we will spot and drill these larger holes that are in the four corners of the part. We are picking up this tutorial where we left off on the last one, which was about using roughing waterline to machine out the part. The first thing we will do is add a hole machining operation. So we're going to go over to our down arrow, click down, go to holes, and choose hole machining. Now I'm going to double click on the hole machining operation and open our tutorial tool library and pick the 12 millimeter spot chamfer. Select that tool for our operation. And now we will go to our job assignment menu. And I'm going to hover inside the hole until you see the side of the hole get highlighted and then double click. NC will then pick all the holes that are the same diameter that are in that model. Now I'm going to go over and click center to add the locations of these holes. And I'm going to do the same thing with the larger holes. I'm going to highlight the side, double click, come over, hit center, and add these holes to the list. Now we have established a speed and feed for this tool, which is 6,000 RPMs and 400 millimeters per minute. So all we're going to have to do at this point is hit play to generate the operation and we will simulate the operation. Now NC is going to bring down that spot drill until the spot drill makes contact with the edge of where the hole would be in the model and then it will back off. In so creating a perfect spot size for that hole. So let's go ahead and hit play. And you notice the tool came down, did this, came over, did these four, did this one, came over, did this corner, did these three, and that last corner. So it was pretty efficient toolpath. So now we have all our holes spotted. So we will go back to the machining operation and I will add a new hole machining operation. I'm going to double click to open up my tutorial tool library and pick my six millimeter drill. I will select that tool for the operation and click OK. And just like in the previous operation, I will highlight the side of the hole and double click to pick all the like diameter holes and click center. Now this is going to be a fairly good depth of drill so we're going to set this drilling operation to peck. So I'm going to come down here to my strategy and instead of simple drilling I'm going to pick chip removing and my step is going to be 100% of the tool diameter so the tool diameter is six millimeters so each peck in this drilling cycle will go down six millimeters now one thing that's important we have picked can cycle here if your CNC machine does indeed support the can cycle for peck drilling, then this is a good thing to have selected for your post processor. If it does not, you can also change this to longhand and the post processor will then output the code in a long format without using a can cycle. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we will leave it as a can cycle. Now, 
Let's hit the play button to generate the operation. Let's go to simulation. And in simulation, I'm going to turn off my geometry model visibility, and I'm going to make my machine, machine result visibility transparent. Now you can see the toolpath as it is created inside the model, and I'm going to hit play. I'm going to slow down my slider, and then I will hit play. And you can see it is simulating the PEC cycle all the way down to the bottom of the hole for each one of these holes, just like that. All right, let's go back to our machining tab. And this time, we're going to do the tap for these holes. I'm going to right click on hole machining number two and click copy. And then I'm going to click paste. That will select all the holes that we had selected in the job assignment. It's essentially just copying the previous operation but we need to create a tap for our tool table. So let's open up Hole Machining by double clicking, going to our tutorial library, and let's add a tool number eight. So I'm going to add a tool. It's going to be a tap. We're gonna change the name to six millimeter tap, change the diameter to six millimeters, and the thread pitch is going to be one. Now let's make sure we have a number eight. And let's go into the feeds and speeds operation. We are going to do 350 RPMs. And we can pick a holder similar to the holder that we have chosen before and select this tool for the operation. Now, we're not going to want to tap this hole all the way down to the bottom. So, we are going to have to select in our job assignment all the tool, um, all the hole locations. So, we're going to select the top one, hold down shift, select the bottom one, then double click. This will bring up the hole editing menu. And we want the height to be a little bit different. So I'm going to click in here and pick 15. So it is not quite as deep as the drilled hole. We will click OK. Go into our strategy and turn off chip removing. And just go down to tapping. The thread pitch will come from the tool library which is one millimeter. Now this is set up for a floating tool holder. You can make it for fixed. And just make sure that your CNC machine is set up so that it can use a can cycle for tapping. Now let's hit run to generate the operation. And let's go to simulation to watch the results. Okay. Next, we will use the 10 millimeter drill to drill through these four holes. So let us create one more hole machining operation. Double click and choose our tutorial library and our 10 millimeter drill. We will select that tool and then in job assignment, we will highlight the edge of these holes, double click, hit center, and as we did before, we're going to adjust the depth of the hole. Right now, the tip of the tool would stop at this depth. We would like the drill to go further. That way, once we machine the back side of this part off, the hole is all the way through. So once we have selected 
all four whole locations, let's double click and bring up the whole editing menu and change this 12.7 to 15. Click OK. Click Run to generate the operation. And now we can check our simulation result. We will select our 10 millimeter drill, select that tool for the operation, and click OK. Now we will go to our job assignment. Highlight the edge of the 10 millimeter holes and double click and click center. Now the drill will stop right here and we would like the drill to go a little further so when it comes time to mill the back of this part off the holes go all the way through. So we are going to select the top hole location, hold shift, select the bottom, double click, and change this 12.7 value to 15 and click OK. Now let's go into our strategy and make sure that we pick chip breaking. Chip breaking operation just goes down a little bit and backs up just to break off the chip instead of exiting the entire hole like chip removing. We can make this a 60% of tool peck. Now let's go and hit run to generate the operation. Let's go to the simulation tab and simulate the operation. Excellent. So this has been using the whole machining operations to spot, drill, and tap these holes in the model. The next tutorial will be on pocketing. Remember, all the models used in these tutorials will be available in a link in the description. Thank you.